What's up, y'all? This is No Big Deal. Welcome to Creative Control, the podcast where we dive into music, God, and the intersection of creativity and faith. Here with me today is Andy Tribe, the owners of Holy Smoke, coming off their new project, Indy 500. Are you talking Rap to stars extraordinaires, Indy Tribe. Are you doing this okay. in, like in, th- like in third person? Is this like a... Indie tribe is all of us. It's not me, so that wouldn't be third person. Yeah, okay. You said there. Yeah. No, like not you, our. Yeah. yeah. Or is yeah. this it? You're leaving? This is it. Wow. This is the moment. You guys are jumping to the end of the this podcast. The end of the podcast. Ah, We're jumping to the end. I called it two years ago. By the way, I called this. Jumping the shark this. a little bit. Caleb. All right, Caleb, come on up. You know what I'm saying? This uh, is definitely getting cut out. No, no, no. It's not. <laughs> that's not getting cut out. That's fine. Um, uh. All right, y'all. I mean, this has been a crazy year and even crazier weekend. We just came off of Holy Smoke. How are we feeling? Exhausted. Exhausted, but fulfilled. Hungry. Just hungry. Just hungry. How are you feeling, Tori? <laughs> I thought he had a mic, bro. <laughs> no, I don't have a mic. I was using mine. He used the water bottle as a mic. Uh, I'm relieved. Uh, I'm very happy. With the way that the fest went, I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I'm giddy. Like a schoolgirl. Giddy, let's get it. Yeah, what overall, was, it was great. Great weekend. What was what was uh, some of our favorite parts? Uh, da Vinci quite literally diving into the crowd. There was a lot of crowd surfing. On yeah, this, there was. This year. Yeah, that was cool. More than ever. Yeah. Uh, Heaven yeah. on Earth debut. Crazy live set. Crazy. That was wild. Nuts. Um, the renaissance at the end was probably that that even though i mean that's not even my song that was a highlight for me yeah it was fire renaissance was crazy andy minio announced new music and he came out with a uh, words played words played and they surprise, premiered, they surprise premiered that new music <laughs> yeah crazy it was cool i think something from this year this year that was different than last year i think everybody like respected the platform kind of to a different level artistically oh 100 like yeah, yeah people I was, yeah. everybody came with like visuals i don't did Most anybody people. just use the stock stock no, LED? oh that is a cra- that yeah that's nobody way different did. than last year so nobody it's did. like i think everybody kind of after seeing what holy smoke was last year they raised the bar for themselves mm-hmm. i think that was cool i agree yeah no nah. yeah there, there was people that came there this year that had the same sentiment as uh Lecrae last year and was like, dang, I should have came more prepared. Like I, I didn't, not they. I, don't, I didn't, I didn't take it as disrespectful, but it was like, ah, I, I thought it was gonna be one way, and I showed up and it was actually very fire, and I should have put more time into. Yeah, I thought I thought y'all was gonna be trash. That's what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, no, like I thought, super I thought, low key. Like, man, low key. I thought I thought this was gonna be really bad, and that I hated you guys. I mean, turns out not. To be fair, like we we've all as solo been artists trash. been on festivals, mm-hmm. and uh, I mean Ooh, the the experience. Shout out, shout out Elysium Fest. <laughs> yeah. What a callback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we've been That's crazy. we've been on these festivals where uh you don't get I mean you don't get you definitely don't get LED. You don't get lights, you don't get a sound check, you don't yeah. get nah. anything. It's outside, it's five hundred degrees, you get a wired mic and you got fifteen minutes, get up there and yeah. get it done. You know? Facts. So for no people. Yeah, for no people. So I had, I think the sentiment of a lot of artists is like, wow, this isn't, this is. It's the exact opposite. It's like it, for mo- a lot of artists, it's the biggest, best crowd they've ever played for with the most production. Yeah, it's the exact opposite. Which is something that we try to create. It's basically like we're trying to fix what we've seen, like the issues that we've seen in other festivals. Like we're healing the, 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 our, our space. <laughs> We're healing our space. CHH is That's healing. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, I think we're actually healing. finally creating the ecosystem that we've desired for ourselves. Yeah. Genuinely. If you had to if you had to give the purpose of Holy Smoke in 15 seconds, what would it be? John Keith. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. I, that's all the lyrics. I know that song. I didn't. I didn't oh, watch. Oh no! I was ready. Up. I was ready for. Yeah, I didn't know. I was gonna give you the full fifteen seconds. I didn't I was know. Pretty pessimistic for that. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't watch the show. I wasn't allowed. It's demonic. Um, no, one. not to be honest. You know, uh, there is a lot of people that are like us 
you know, uh, music fans that really love Jesus, but are fans of music because there's a lot of people in the Christian music space that will like artists just because they're Christian. It doesn't matter if the music's good. It doesn't matter if you know, none of that matters. It's just, uh, this is excellent because it talks about God. That's not how this works. And so we wanted to create a space for people like us where like the music, the, the artists that come in are curated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it, even it's a, it's a artist friendly festival. Meaning like we want to prioritize, um, like artists feeling happy. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm, feeling yeah. happy to be a Holy Smoke. Mm -hmm, Yo, this mm -hmm. is like a, you know, and, and they've said it, you know, this is like a family reunion. Like this is yeah. dope. I, I'm so like excited. I, I'm coming to Holy Smoke even if I'm not performing. Type, mm -hmm, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like, you know, but our space yeah. has always had that space. It's always been something. And, and you know, whether it was Flavor Fest yeah. or, you know, w w whatever the main event was that everybody gathered at. They had and, their pockets. Yeah, this is, this is it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't. I, way better. I think I wouldn't want, and there's no offense to those those things. So they were timestamps and amazing things in in that place and time for us, and um, very like vital for us. I don't want Holy Smoke to be like a a moment. I don't. All, I know all good things come to an end. You know what I'm saying? Like this won't be forever. But I would. I I would much rather like Holy Smoke be a pillar of like. A change in our space rather mm. than a timestamp mm -hmm. of like oh this was cool when this happened like you know what i'm saying like i don't know i think we're past that what you mean we're about to be five years deep next year you know what they, i'm saying that's years crazy deep. i mean i don't that's happening yeah decades. but i'm saying like that, that's crazy that that is what other what other time stamps <laughs> oh, in our that have happened in our space that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. next year is five years so i'm like what other time stamp type situations in our space have surpassed that amount of time Rolling loud, like the, rolling, yeah. you said what? <laughs> Say rolling loud. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Rolling loud is how old do you think Rolling Loud is? I think it's ten it's years. Like old. Like five years old, right? No, it's like not eight or nine. No, no, no. It's no. 10, it's the 10, first 10. Rolling it's Loud 10, 10, was fourteen ninety two, right? When Christopher Columbus shout out the homie. The homie, whoa, you mean the whoa, genocidal, disease-ridden boat rider whoa. that killed millions of Caribbean people? <laughs> boat rider That's has good. sent me. That's no, really please good. keep that. Keep this in there. Oh yeah, no, no, so no absolutely. That was good. Boat so yeah. rider. Boat rider is pretty so crazy. Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so very serious. funny. Yeah, yeah. So okay, get back to the real thing you were saying. I, I derailed it. Yeah, the homie. That's definitely staying in though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, 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 I see what's going on here, Chelsea. You know, you mean you can censor him, but you can censor me. Okay. I don't remember what I was saying. Um, it's, it's better. You know what I'm saying? It's better than all the other things. Well, you were saying that you were saying, saying like a five so year. You were, you were saying it was, pa it was past. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Like the timestamp thing, like the, what other things have surpassed five years? Yeah. I think what you're getting at is like you want it to shift the culture and not just be like another festival. Yeah, another shift. Yeah. Oh, more than, more than stand the test. He wasn't saying stand the test time. He's saying oh, yeah. shift the oh, yeah. culture more than. We, yeah. Yeah. And those things did shift the culture. I'm not, like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to. Well, yeah, it's just like building on the foundation of what came before instead yes. of just making the new one yes. of that. Yes. Which yes. I think, which I think is what we're talking about with like one, one of the pillars of Holy Smoke is like we said we wanted to give a platform to artists who have the talent, who have the music, but they haven't gotten the looks. And yeah. we've never seen most of the lineup of Holy Smoke over the last four years, like a good amount of them you've never seen with LED. You've never seen them mm -hmm. with lights and production and like the ability to actually realize their music on stage. Yeah. A lot of them, it was their first real show, like artists with millions of monthly listeners now. And so I think that I think that is something that sets Holy Smoke apart from yeah from other festivals. It's like yeah, wait, I want to because what you just said actually like uh, tied it tied together some of this about this in my head. Like Holy Smoke is a place like where artists are able to present you their full their full vision yeah. for their music, right? Mm -hmm. So like you can you can see. Uh, you mm -hmm. can you can see what a at at you know Cerebro Fest and Cerebro mm -hmm. Fest is dope. Mm -hmm. Glow Fest is dope. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like you can go see them there. Mm -hmm. um, you can see them on tour. You mm -hmm. can see them on the next one one six tour. Mm -hmm. Whatever. And I but I feel like Holy Smoke is a place where you know what I'm saying artists have the ability to present their full vision for their music mm -hmm. to you. 
like their ideal show. I mm-hmm. treat I treat Holy Smoke every year like it's, it's the, the last stop of my headline tour yeah. that I've never had. And your expectation is probably that you're not going to be able to replicate Holy Smoke outside of it, at least at the moment. No, I never. I, my career is going downhill after this. But yeah, the, yeah I mean that. For sure. but yeah, like that's mainly yeah. Yeah, that was my, that was a hundred percent my approach this year as well. Is like this is the spot to de- to try new things to debut like like you said exactly wh- how you want your show to be like holy smoke is the is the place to do that i w- i was actually talking to 350 about it and he said the same thing like uh 350 he said this was like the most authentic set he's ever done because other places he was trying to keep up with whatever the other artists are doing, like making people jump or mosh or whatever. And that's not the type of music that he makes, Mm -hmm. but he said, Holy smoke felt like a space where it's like, I'm going to actually be the artist that I want to see up there. You know, if I was a fan and like, Mm -hmm. I'm going to really represent my music well. And so he did a crazy thing where like, usually you end your set with like your most known song or like your, your most hype song or whatever. And he flipped it. And he said like the back half of his set was like, his slowest, most stripped down, like just him rapping, like over sample. You know what I mean? Like he, yeah. and he was like, I really, and so that I told him I was super grateful that he, f- he felt like the space was safe for that and curated for that. Cause it's like, people are coming to the fest to like, like you were saying, Mowgli, like, um, this is where I'm going to debut like my artistry as far as live music goes. You know yeah. what I mean? No. Nah. No, John's right, and you're right as well. I mean, I feel like we're able to cultivate that space for fans and for artists to make it the ideal situation for everybody. Because mm-hmm. it's like people, people like people come there that I've I've seen performing in arenas. So like I'm like, yeah, like these fans are different. They're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm like all oh, in my tour. I'm like, if I'm being real, they're different than your tour. These fans are like they're way more receptive than you think, and it'll go way more up than you think. Yeah. And it holds true for 14 years in a row. All right, we're, we're building a community and ecosystem for Holy Smoke that allows, I mean, everybody to be at, the, at like, operate at the highest octane level from the fans to the artists. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like fans go there for what Mowgli was saying was like the community and seeing people like once a year that you, like want to see again and like mm. being like uh uh mingling with artists and meeting new people and it's like lit and then also it's like oh like i can come watch my favorite artists go absolutely crazy mm-hmm. like you know what i'm saying like i i'm looking forward to the day that like somebody fully takes on what holy smoke is and just is like yo you know what holy smoke is getting an exclusive set i've never done before like mm-hmm. like like you know how like jay-z did a uh uh, B sides tour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Somebody just does like a B sides show. That'd be hard. Yeah. If they have the catalog for it, but like that'd be dope. Like, yeah, yeah. Stuff that they've never seen before. Like instead of uh, just treating it like another stop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, real, real quick, I need a napkin. I, I got food on my hands and I didn't eat, which means one of you people folded me. There you go. So I, so I, I John I, Keith, you know what I'm saying? catches his first L of many on this podcast. You know what I'm saying? I, I I've done nothing wrong. I'm a I'm a, I'm a victim. <laughs> Which means one of you people have. You what, is you what is it? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Let, let, what this let's is, describe it to people. the listeners. I don't, I don't Garrett know. Garrett Maddox, everybody. Let's top it up for it, Garrett Maddox. It could be. It could be. Woo! It could be chocolate. Gentleman and a scholar. It, it could be. Poopy. You never. Anytime it could be chocolate, it's already bad, bro. Exactly. I, I <laughs> like I don't know. I don't like. I don't know. Followed by it could be I chocolate. I don't know what it came from. I don't know. I don't know what I touched, but I didn't eat. I ain't ate nothing. Wow. And nobody had chocolate, though. To be honest, if, if it's true, mystery, mystery sauce. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I will say yeah. too, like everything went up a notch this year. Yeah, in all facets. That was a crazy segment. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I really enjoyed that segment. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Everything. Nah, went up this I said year. everything went up. Like yeah. I, I feel like uh, like everybody stepped up their game this year. Yeah, Indie Institute was crazy this year. Was yeah, that was a big was like very, very nuts, bro. So Indie Institute, we had more people at, at Indie Institute this year than the year first Holy one. Smoke Holy period. Smoke, totally. That's crazy. Which is well, crazy. I think it's cool. Well, I think it's really cool is that it's getting to a point that for us to continue to like 
grow it in any type of like order of magnitude, we actually just have to grow ourselves. It's not like mm. we don't have something really in our space that we can like tap into to yeah. bring it. It's yeah. like, it's actually the space has to evolve to carry it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it is. Break down Indie Institute for the people, Mowgli. Uh, Indie Institute is, I think, you know, Indie Tribe, we were, we're DIYers. Uh, we've, <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we've, we've, learned a lot the hard way um and we want to create a space where we're also tangibly investing into the community uh giving them knowledge as well as just a dope uh networking event that can uh help them along and not make some of the same mistakes yeah i'm not gonna lie a lot of y'all are internet rappers i agree and you gotta you need to you need to learn the actual game one thousand percent you know what i'm saying that's uh, some of the questions that I asked on the joint. Was that? Yeah. It was like, yo, there's some people that have crazy numbers on socials, crazy yeah. numbers on Spotify, and they can't sell out a hey, 200 and, 250 cap room. Like, yeah. it's like, which is unfortunate, but it's that's, yeah. that's like the truth. Yeah. I can't sell out Yeah. Yet. Go listen to Pulp Fiction. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> no, but it. like, like I'm, I'm saying that I said that to be funny, but like Andy Institute, like it, there's so many gems and keys to like what is interesting. What Andy called the ground game, and Andy was saying that like, like everybody immediately runs to social media to, to decide like what their status is or what yeah. their value is, or or even and people will look at that to see like, oh, what level is this artist at or whatever, and he said, but people are missing the ground game, which he was saying like, holy smoke is the ground game, like selling tickets, like being a good performer, like making good music, like having super fans, you know what I mean? And connecting with them well, like everybody's skipping that to try to go viral, but that's not sustainable. That's like, never been sustainable. Yeah. People just want a dopamine hit. They don't, they don't really want like actual success in music. Yeah. From what I see, it's like, cause they deem success. Oh, I got a viral TikTok. My my sound went viral, like all these different things. And it's like, for example, the the, the chick that used Kato's beat, the Australian rapper, oh yeah, went yeah. viral, right? She yeah. went viral. Yo, Columbia yeah. signed her. Yeah. What's her name? Exactly. <laughs> I feel like that was an alley. Yeah, yeah you like said I, that I feel like I feel like <laughs> nowadays, like Ron and Yeah. I feel like now, like going viral is like it's the it's the same way, like being an artist is the same way. Um, like y'all ever been in a circle and y'all y'all made everybody laugh like mm -hmm. like one time and then you now you think you're a comedian and I feel yeah. like that's kind of the same thing as like a lot of artists that we that we see now everybody it's so easy to go that's viral. A crazy analogy. It's yeah, so yeah. it's so easy to go viral. You yeah. you get you get one moment, hundred thousand people like hey, and then get now a, it's like get, get a few followers, you know. And I think yeah. It's, it's it's super dope right away, you know. And you you know you think you think oh man I made everybody laugh. I'm a comedian. Now I can go on the road and it's like yeah yeah. But even if I don't mean you a good comedian. Yeah. To to even take that further, even if it's even if it's not you made people laugh one time. Even if you're a funny guy. Yeah. Like like you're I still, would being a comedian. Being a, a comedian is a different thing than being a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You might, and, and, and let me you tell you something. I'm not saying I couldn't be a comedian, but I'm saying it's not the same I, thing. Uh, it's not the same thing. I feel you. I feel you. I know funny people that 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 I've gone with them to open mics, and they get bodied on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's say it together. Yeah. There's a lot of rappers. Yeah. There's not a lot of artists. There's not a lot of artists. I don't know. That was a, that, that was kind of anticlimactic. I didn't know what he was gonna say, but I, I wanted I to say it with him. Expected. It's a lot of people. What you thought was gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen, but the the, yeah, the build up yeah. left me wanting. wanting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of y'all that rap. It ain't a lot of rappers. You hear me? Mm. Oh, it's a lot of. Hold up, bro. I thought of this saying the other day. It's a lot of y'all that rap. It's not a lot of rappers. No, at, uh, seriously, seriously though. At, at risk of offending some people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what? That's a perfect example 
what John just did is a perfect example Uh-oh. of what's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get in trouble. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll take it a step further and I'll say there's a lot of I rappers digress. and not a lot of artists. <laughs> No, no, I, I agree no, with no, that. No, no, I agree no, no, with no, no, that. No, no, no. I agree with that. No, no, no wait, 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 wait. No, I agree with that. No, wait, now hold on a moment. No, you disagree? <laughs> you disagree with that? No, no, I agree. I'm just saying, yeah. hold on. He's cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe he just yeah. circle just of yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all just just, just, real life wait, tribe wait, Chels just gave us the wrap it up <laughs> sign. We're like ten minutes in. And she gave us the wrap it up sign. I just saw real life little middle child syndrome. In the flesh. Yeah, man. So, so, no, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, like, with everything that's going on, like, a lot of people, even that, you know, are, have the discipline, uh, like, let's be real, like, rap isn't a live genre. Especially no, independent it's not. It's not. rap of, like, people that don't have a yes. cult of personality, yes. Yes. you know, yes. aren't a megalithic superstar, rap Ooh. isn't a live genre. So, people are coming from an area, <laughs> stop it. Um, people are coming from an area where like their whole extent of like performing is like, you know, you hop on stage, there's wedges, there's two tracks, there's whatever. And we're introducing standards that are totally normal and just part of the game for like the rest of the industry. Yeah. And, uh, I think, I think that's, that has to happen for the longevity, uh, of this whole side of our space. But you know, it, ha- it hasn't always been like that. Like, no. it's like a... Like that's new, bro. That's like, uh, I, honestly, to to be real, well, like, it's more full circle. To be real, bro, it's rolling loud culture. Like yeah. to get yeah. up there with a two track, like bro, the the people that we talk about, like oh, that are man. that are legends, like like they were they weren't doing that. They were doing like Jay Z was doing full bands. Nas was doing full bands. Totally. Like they're rapping every single lyric that they made. They're doing new live versions of it. Like. Like that that's new. That's that's really rolling loud is culture. It, I'm not like Kendrick Lamar is still a good culture. Or is this late? Like just bro, you uh, know what? Rolling Loud's twenty fourteen before before that, that's Big Sean J. Cole. Yeah. Kendrick. Do you do you remember yeah. when Ice Spice first yeah. came out and people were coming at her because she did her first live show and it was like she had no stage presence. She was using a two track. Like people were coming at her like, yo, yeah. like how do you why how do you not know how to perform yeah and you're an artist like people are coming at her and i'm like nah like this is this is what y'all created this is what y'all want yeah, yeah like yeah. y'all are creating like no like there's people are just making music in their bedroom and i'm not pooping on anybody that is doing this no, but no, i'm not just poop like on, poop on. He no poop i'm on. not he but on. i'm saying like it's on. there's a difference between how we said like are like being like being a a, a a artist and being someone that's good at their craft and takes it serious is way different i i on twitter i was like yo who do y'all want to see in 2025 for holy smoke and there was a plethora of people naming all these people and i'm like i wouldn't even bring this up to the guys because i don't even have full confidence that you ever done a show <laughs> That could show yeah. me okay. that you that's could really handle funny. the Holy Smoke crowd. That's really funny. All, all they really want, funny. all they want, is they see Holy Smoke platform. They're like, I want to get on that platform because I feel like I deserve to get on that platform. But they're like, the the Holy Smoke crowd will never boo you. It'll just humble you if you don't approach it. They booed me. And what they you told you them? Told you, them. Told you, them. you you like literally you quite asked literally asked them to boo you. you. That's what you said. Okay. Cause you got somebody's name wrong. I did get somebody. They won't. Name they wrong. won't boo you, that. but they they will not. Shout out Devin. They will not shout if if, if yeah. They yeah, like they, they definitely yeah. won't not, move if, if you. They not, will not go up. Yeah, if you, you, if you yeah, ain't doing if, what you're supposed not, to do. Yeah. No, because and that's I think that and the artists do feel the difference. They see people going up for one set, and then they see people. They're like, hey, the audience is like, give me something, anything. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's too late. It's too late to come to Holy Smoke and not give your all because the fan. The, the festival itself has a crowd that comes and they have been given like real performances, real art. They're used to it and they love it. So if you come to Holy Smoke and you don't come correct, they're going to be like, all right, well, I guess it's time to go get some Bon Me outside. Yeah. Shout out Bon Me and uh, the other food trucks. <laughs> if you know your saying? set ain't at least deal set this year, don't even bother coming. No, 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 no. That's crazy. <laughs> right. That's crazy. We ain't going to have nobody think, performing this year. I you. think in... I feel like we there was no to some people. On that. <laughs> so <All stupid>. right. <laughs> I feel like to some people that don't know that who, was a like, and I was like, right, who no. we are or how we are <laughs> can take what we're saying in like a very like either cocky or like condescending way, and it's just like nah. Like I think we've built this up enough to not require or expect the bare minimum. 
Like, yeah. just because some people do shows at their local youth group or you've done something, and I'm again, I'm not pooping on these things, but it's like when you come to Holy Smoke, it's like it's it's a way different environment and requires way more stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, there was artists there that were like, oh, I didn't know we were doing in-ears. I didn't know that we had an LED wall. Yeah. I usually just do monitors. That's, that's a yeah. preference thing. That's not an experience thing. Yeah. But it's just like, oh, I wasn't prepared. Oh, I, I, I usually do this. I didn't. I wasn't prepared for this. And it's just like, hey, bro, like. Yeah. But also, I think it's something that's actually crazy. I'm, I'm thinking of this on the spot, too. There are certain things with, like, production and stuff that, like, that there's a lot of people that require that that rely on a small amount of people mm. like take take like ac for example mm -hmm. right like a ton of people a huge disproportionate amount of our space re relies on ac making like an ableton live session mm -hmm. right but now That's because he right, had <laughs> that was responsible for like 12 people i know mm -hmm. it's true mm -hmm. it's true but like so now people are going to see that and people are going to be like okay that i wasn't able to make that work out now I'm going to learn that skill mm -hmm. or now I'm going to bring my homie on that's already talented in that. Mm -hmm. And it's like those things, all those little dis decisions, like it actually compounds and grows, like it raises the floor mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, and, and the community of knowledge that that curates, mm -hmm. I think is like really, really cool. I, th I think that's going to be something really cool to what's, see going forward. What's that saying? Where, what's that saying? Where it's like, uh, it takes one and no one rises, all the boats rise or whatever. Yeah. 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 I, I don't. I can never get exactly the, the right either. The tide that li lifts all ships. Ships. What is it? The tide that lifts all ships. I think it's easy to say something. Did you say different. Doctor Lipschitz <laughs> from Rugrats? <laughs> Yo, that's a crazy pool, bro. Yeah. No, no, he's right. And, and, and really? so still, still <laughs> leaving that in. <laughs> Lipschitz is a last name. You don't like Jewish people? It's a, no, you're be, you're you're in danger. You're in YouTube danger right now. You're be, you're. <laughs> He's <laughs> look, look, even yay. Hey. Oh y'all, hey. Doctor Lipschitz. <laughs> <laughs> Lipschitz is yes. a last name. It absolutely Spell is. It. Yes. Don't do it. It's Don't do it. L I P S C H I T Z. Oh, I thought it was L I P S H. No, 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 no. No, Dill. What so was? I remember my parents watching that episode of Rugrats, and they were a bit, and they were like, "All right, yeah. he's no, he's goaded though." Nah, Doctor Lipsch is hundred percent Rugrats. Greatest doctor goated. ever, bro. Um, I want to ask. I want to ask y'all two. That's crazy. I want to ask y'all two a question about, like, your like, how has Holy Smoke gone above your expectations as the founding members of any tribe? Like, how do you feel? Oh, like, me and Mowgli. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, you've had the the inception of the idea, but as Indie Tribe. And then as the fest, how does how do you feel like your idea has come to fruition? How do you feel about it? Oh, that's crazy. I'll, I'll just say, at least for me, bro, it wasn't until this iteration of Indie Tribe that like a festival was even like on the radar. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll just yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah, names, names. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Um, the energy wasn't there to support it before. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I genuinely think that, I mean, I would love, a le and I, I think I see this happening, but I would love one of the legacies of Holy Smoke to be that it it made a lot of artists, like, better performers and really believe in artistic integrity and mm -hmm. stage presence and discipline on stage, which is something we talked about, too. And, like, it literally made better creatives. You know what I mean? Um Cause for, I think, I think, um, for a long time, especially in our space, there's been a handful of guys who have some money behind them and they have some people who have had sex, su have had success, <laughs> had, had success. Censor me. Do you hear <laughs> this, man? Here we go. Here we go. That boy, that boy got, go. that boy got love All on right, the brain. Up, All right. Love on whoa, the brain. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take that off and not feel this. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? No, no. He's just, he's gonna I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I need, I need love, love and affection. And I hope I'm not sounding too desperate. Yeah. I've never heard you do a future lyric, and the way that you just made your face to do a future lyric is crazy. Love. 
Wrap it up again. This is the second wrap it up. (laughs) Bro, the face you made was nuts, bro. It was crazy to do future, bro. All right. All right, let's reset. All right, so for a long time, it's been a handful of guys. Yeah, what? Who had. Sound it out. My hat. Oh, thank you so much. Y'all weren't even going to tell me that my hat was crazy. I thought you was doing like a TI thing. Absolutely I thought you was with it. Not. Immediately not. <laughs> I thought you was getting with I, I do it with I you. I want you to look worse. I do it with I you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. What I'm, uh, what I'm trying to say is that there's been like five people that they have the money, they have the production, they have the stage show, and then the gulf between those people and everybody else in the space is massive. Like it's crazy. And I would like a legacy of Holy smoke to be that we close that gap because Mm -hmm. if this, it's the quote that we can't get right with the rising tide and and the ships, but like all ships rise. If everybody is like jumping to meet that bar that we've raised and the artistic excellence is across the board, then like, it's just gonna. There's gonna be more buzz around the space. Like it's gonna yeah. be more undeniable. And this I, this whole this whole like theory that I have that like there's millions of people that would would like to hear our music and would be tapped in with us if they just knew about it. Which I really believe. I think yeah. that the way that we get it to those people is is <laughs> like because the thing is like they're interacting. They already think that the space is corny. Like. They think yeah. they either think Lecrae is the the only Christian rapper who's ever existed at all because he was on a BET cipher. You know what I mean? Or they think, oh yeah, the local like rapper I heard at the church. That's all they have a concept for. Yeah. So if they run into terrible performers and like super corny, like whatever, that's bad for us because this confirmation bias. They're like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess it dies with I Lecrae. Was right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if if yeah, if we can help like change that narrative and show this excellent art the music's in a better space than ever yeah so if we can if we can also get the performances there and the live events there then like and i think already though already i mean so for the audience that doesn't know we did a uh research trip to rolling loud and 2022 God, bro that drunk and, and the, the thing the thing it is was just dog, upside down crosses in depression <laughs> no and, and we were in literal hell bro it was bad but so yes, so but the thing is is bad, that like bro. legitimately we are like per capita christian hip-hop has better performers easily has better oh 1000 yeah with no question go 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 on go on go on saying though is that as we close that gap between like you know uh non edf and f because he's not a christian rapper um but like you know andy and like kb and like a not clod right yeah. the more we close that gap <laughs> am i wrong um not not the more the more we close crazy. that gap the more disproportionately powerful christian hip-hop is yeah yeah 100%. you know because it's, it's getting to a point where like when when people are seeing like what we're reposting on instagram yes. people are just like dog what, what is, is that this and that what way like that? when we interact with the mainstream mm-hmm. it's like we don't we're, need we're hitting way way harder and we don't need to compromise yeah anything like, for some dummy platform bro you, know? you but you just saying that makes me think bro like when i think of rolling loud bro when we were there there was like half naked women everybody's doing drugs everybody's going crazy and and the, and they're going crazy because of the drugs because the performances are not crazy yeah, yeah the performances not, are oh, not wow. the performances no, no, talk about this. are not crazy yeah like and then i look at us I and like it's this. like bro we all we have over there is is coffee celsius like it's mad yeah. community like it's a safe environment like yeah. there's like females don't gotta go there and worry about nothing like yeah like guys don't gotta worry about like well yo who's gonna sell me what like it's like it's like we've created an ecosystem that is glorifying to god through the excellence that we've what we've communicated and yeah. also done in the background and it's like we have a I keep saying ecosystem, but we have a, a landing spot for people that just want to have like just good, clean, fun, and turn up and like celebrate good art and celebrate a, a faith that we're all unified in. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. That was more uncomfortable for you than it was for me. I could have been there the whole time doing that. The clip, but when it comes when it comes to music and live performances, we're better than you, and we know it. No, when it comes to the mainstream, one thousand percent. 
One thousand percent. The only people yeah. that the only people I would even and say that there's people gym, in bro. our space that are better than Drake that that cannot perform. Like I've been to multiple Drake concerts. He's not a great performer. Like the only people that I really rock with yeah, is like Kendrick, or Bruno yeah, Mars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick or Bruno Mars. They or not like us. They not like, like us. Okay. All right. No complaints. Hmm. Hmm. Like if gym. you pulled up to the if you pulled up to Rolling Loud and you had the exact same setup. You as you did star show. at Holy Star Dang, Show, bro, they'd be like, "Yo, what is?" They'll be like, "Yo, who is this guy?" It's, it's I was going yeah. to say this. I was going to say that if they would be way more, the rest of the industry would be way more intimidated to perform at Holy Smoke than we would. I feel like, yeah, at, at, at they like with the set, like if it's just like mm -hmm. talent wise, it ain't got nothing to do with like fans, and, and it's all about like, hey, we trying to pick the best performers. Like people sitting down, mm -hmm. like judging, mm -hmm. it's way more intimidation for them to come on this side because mm -hmm. a lot of people you can you can just get away with a lot when people drugged up. Or I was gonna say yeah, that's and, a good and, and point. Not, not relying oh, on the artistic sure. and performance crutches, and then yeah. but yeah, but and, and not that's relying on you like have a viral hit like so that people just like you ever you ever listen to a song you're like oh, I I only like this one part of the song I don't like the song I like this one part. That's like the new culture now. It's like TikTok culture. It's like, oh, I like, oh, this song is hard. It's just that part of the song, though. Yeah. So people turn on for that part of the song. They don't actually like you as an artist. Yeah. But dog, like, like, like opening tier acts, like the audience knows like every word at Holy Smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Opening yeah. tier acts, the audience knows every word to and, these and, sets. And the crazy thing is this: the people who don't, I feel like that goes that goes to show. The level of performance because every like day in and day out we are constantly faced with we do not have these super large mainstream hits mm -hmm. and we have to perform and we have, have to, to actually make good music every single and everybody's audience. sober they just looking at every us. every single audience you got to captivate them but on that side all you need is a hit record a hit song and if everybody know it now that alleviates you from all performance aspects. Right. It's like, oh no, everybody know every word. All I gotta do is just get up there and dance. Y'all gonna right. sing every word. But we constantly face with the thing of like, hey, these people might not know who I am. Mm -hmm. So I have to, I actually have to make singable hooks. Mm -hmm. I actually have to be an MC and I connect actually, to and build an audience. Uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Not so, just rely on the big machine right. to build it for you. Yeah, facts. All right, I wanna make sure, cause it's easy for us to, just talk forever. I want to shift to make sure we talk about Indy 500, man, because this mm -hmm. joint sure. is going crazy right now. Um, I think people need yeah. to know that this that's like just just like a, a windowed view of our full power. Yeah, we yeah. that done like in two weeks. Like very quickly. Not, the, not most of the song, but the entire situation. Was you mean like that, like wrapping up the yeah. the packaging the of, it. of it? Was done. Yeah. That's what I told a fan when we was there. He was like, Indy 500 was, I was like, I ain't going to lie to you. 8500 is light compared to what to what we can do. Oh dang, my bad. Of. Continue, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh no, no, no. I was just saying, like, I was talking to I was talking to a um to a supporter at Holy Smoke and he was he was going off about any five hundred. Any five I love any five hundred, but I was like, I ain't gonna lie. That's not even our final form play. Yeah, <laughs> and, but it, and, it was it was it was it, it was very fun to make. Though. It was, it was yeah, for sure. It was yeah, hella for fun sure. to make. It was, it was no, no, fun hold on a second. For sure, it's not a bunch of throwaways. I think the the <laughs> I think the funnest thing for me was like uh, I feel like this one I'm, for me personally because I kind of put together the sequence. We all agreed on it, but I was yeah. like. Now you spearheaded it. For I sure. no, but it was like I had like the most fun doing it. Yeah, I was like, bro, what? Now you were hype. You I, were I was hyped. like, yeah. guys, I was like, yo, give me like an hour and just let me rock. Like, yeah, this is just, just feel my. Well, and you can't wait, just wait, text wait, wait, me, wait. let me rock. Nobody was even let not me. letting you rock. <laughs> you just, yo, yo, let me rock. Let me rock. No wait, response. I, mean, not, I, I, I respond to my response. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exclamation point! Like, <laughs> bro, we're not to make it a tie-in, but holy smoke was the motivation to just okay get this thing finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. That was that was the battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. These were songs that we had worked on before. Mm -hmm. you know Just I'm weren't saying? finished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Tori, I really think that you like shined on Indy Five Hundred, bro. One mm percent. -hmm. Hey, no cap. I I, I feel like I, I feel like I, I feel like you know I was a little lighter flick, but Mowgli was. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, Mowgli barred up. Mowgli, Mowgli was barred up. Yo, you know, put the camera on me real quick. I got you. What, what we Mowgli. almost? What we almost name a? Uh, I ain't gonna say it yet because it might end up on another project. Oh so. yeah, 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 yeah. 
Some of y'all thought that, that Mowgli couldn't rap. Some of y'all thought that Mowgli didn't have the pen. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he might have not, but he does now. I like and why the, is that? I you like the, the part. Where I, where I, I, think, I think he always had the pen. Nah, bro. Let me the finish pen, talking my shit, bro. I need y'all to respect no, a good catch. Mowgli's pen. Every a pro- catch. every project that Mowgli oh, has been on, he that. has grown oh, each project. I'm saying, I'm saying Spanish cuss words. I like the part where Mowgli was talking about the Mega Rappers. Wait, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. No, that's fine. You, yeah, go. Yeah, I like the part where Mowgli was talking about the Mega Rappers. Um. Cause I really, uh, I really, man. that really felt good that's to me. Yeah. You're welcome. That's back. all I had to say. No, that's good. That's good. I like that. Actually, I want to chord with that. Yeah. I get really? more old as I get more older. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get more bold as I get more he older. Said, Mowgli said. Mowgli said. <laughs> Ironically, the tribe ain't really about no tribalism. Ain't trying to diss a MAGA rapper just to cause division. Yeah. But I will correct the record if you spark it and you come after my brother on some dumb, dumb dogmatic, dogmatic garbage. garbage using Jehovah's name for clicks and you suck. That's what he said. Uh, I thought you were going to keep going. I don't know the rest of it. Yeah. Right, now, now, y'all Mowgli heard that. Up. Y'all Mowgli, heard that. Mowgli, that was crazy. I Maybe feel like everybody has their got part. more discernment than you do. Ah, Ooh. To, nah, nah, nah. Finish the Dooku line. That was crazy. Finish Try it. Finish it. The fit into your view like Sudoku. One hand yeah, behind my back, back while I'm still swinging like the <laughs> Star Wars bars. Yeah, the, yeah. Let's, let's, let's cut it off right there. Revenge right. Yeah, let's cut it off. Right there. <laughs> 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 oh my god. No, but I think I think I think seriously though, it's like you know, and Dill. I mean, Michael's known me this entire period, but we've been artistically closer for the entire period. Yeah, for sure. You know, like I've always incorporated like all like types of alternative music. And stuff and into my music and there have been periods where i've been more experimental into that more rap but like there was like the critical mass of people that started like interacting with me came from indie tribe mm. and that came when i was in that like very very deep into like alternative influence right mm-hmm. so it's like those people i get it they, they didn't go back and listen to like the song with canon <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying like Shout out canon. so so it's like it's always been there but I just, yeah. You just so honed in on it. Yeah, I think I, you know, I think your pen actually has always been there. I think one thing that I admire about your lyricism is like, uh, you and Tori are both like this in different ways. But like, if you're on a concept, then you're on that concept. Like y'all don't, right. y- y- y'all don't like jump to different things. It's like, okay, what are we talking about? Okay, bet. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm staying on this the whole time. Um, and you guys approach it differently. Tori's mind it just works. Tori's got the craziest it, flows, it, bro. His his flows, but also his associations are just like out of this world. Yeah, and and like yours is very linear. I'm, I'm very linear, direct in a creative way. Super linear, but it's like yeah, but it's one yeah. train, like one logical train of thought or whatever. Um, but I think what what the fans saw on Indy on Indy 500 from you is the other stuff like like you know what i'm saying double digivolving you know what i'm saying like yeah. the the delivery the flows right. Right. like the rhyme schemes i don't think it's your pen that changed i think it's that stuff that it's just 100%. like yo we like we haven't heard him like this you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and but tori you, you're gonna have to get these compliments brother you pass that off to mowgli really quick i'm not gonna yeah, lie yeah, to you yeah, yeah, how yeah, many yeah. production credits I got to what I'm doing. how many hooks Chess, bro. I got a, uh, I got uh, two hooks. Come so, on, bro. Say yeah. what you're cool. Ask him yeah. again. Ask him again. Oh, oh hold on. Time out. 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 Literally, the producers are saying we cannot hear Tori. You actually have to speak louder. It's just gonna be silence. <laughs> you hear me? You gotta be louder, bro. You gotta be uncomfortably loud for you. You hear me? Yeah. You hear me, cuz? That's uncomfortably loud for you. Crazy. Uh uh-uh. uh. Bro, you should have seen him in the meetings. Bro, he lives in a yeah, quiet you know, place, bro. So I'm just thinking uh, that we uh, got to just. Don't you got to stay at the top, the top of your. Uh... Ah! Whoa! Oh! It wasn't as loud as you thought it was. <laughs> Get that was me out okay. of here. All right, so a little bit louder. All, right, right, all, right, all right, you got it. You got it. You got it. Nah, but um, nah, this was this was super fun. I I got a chance to produce Steel Holy and mm-hmm. uh, flagship song. Literally, like 
the, the biggest, biggest song indie tribe I've song ever of all like, time to record. Like, yeah, bro, this man came into indie tribe and was like, uh, I think. I, I guess y'all. I guess we I, could do this. I'm not gonna lie. I think I got a song idea for you. I guess I'm man. just Mark McGuire on the juice. Yeah, <laughs> first <laughs> first contribution, <laughs> literally biggest <laughs> biggest indie tribe song to date. Yeah. Shout out, shout out my and wife. Growing, and she growing, and yeah. growing. Yeah, no, it's 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 almost bigger today than it was at any day since it came out. Hey, have y'all later. have y'all noticed though? I don't I don't have I don't I don't know if I have songs that are that huge without Janae in them. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Mm. So Janae okay. is the secret sauce. Nice. She she probably equally is as famous as me. Yeah. They just don't she don't have pictures. And, it's like Missy and, and Timbaland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, no, no. But I, I, I did get a chance Missy, to produce Missy. Still Holy. Uh, mandatory. Mandatory was um Mandatory was really fun to produce. Uh, Excuse me. Um, was it John or or you, Mowgli, that put the drums on the end? Yeah, the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. crazy. Join Which me, join we we were talking about this after dinner at Trevor's, but like, I think me and Tori both have like a comp like a composer mindset of like when we're making songs and and producing and stuff like that, even if it's a co production. So I'm I'm really excited to see how we work together more at the next Tribal mm-hmm. Council. Yeah, Tribal Council gonna be so fun. It's gonna be my first one, guys. Ooh, oh, it's gonna be my first one. It's gonna be my yeah, first oh, one. Oh. Gotta jump them in. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited, man. I'm just excited. I'm, I'm super excited, man. Tori, we're, we're, we're happy to have you, bro. You are, bro. Here. What was the moment like? What was the moment like, You're Tori, ecstatic. when, um, when uh, at Holy Smoke, you know, John's, John's acting like he's emotional. You tell him to shut up. You walk up on the sub. And you say ha, and the crowd finishes the lyric, bro. It went up so they, hard, bro. <laughs> the crazy, yeah, that was, it kind of, I'm going to tell the truth. It kind of caught me off guard. So anybody who was front row or close enough to see my face, I said hi. And and after hi, I forgot all the lyrics. Because <laughs> cause true the way everybody screamed it it yeah. kind of threw me off a little bit yeah so i low-key said indie tribe like the second word because i i got through i got through off after i said shut up john because he yeah. needed to just yeah a little bit right, right. So after i yeah, said yeah. shut up as it happened yeah. i said hi and the crowd was like ha <laughs> <laughs> and i i, I kind of like hit, yeah hit one got of startled. Them. yeah i got startled a little bit because the song had Shook only up. been out a week <laughs> yeah. like yeah. a week we was all just sitting back like, man, should we approach this? Like, how should we? Because cause normally you already know, like, the streams to the song. It ain't, it ain't like, it's more time in between that. But with this one, we was like, we don't really know. Like, we don't really know how many of those is going to come from. We had a feeling, though. We did have a feeling. We did, we did yeah. have a feeling. That's why we played we it a, like We had a feeling. John, I think John socials. showed me. John, John heard it first or something, and he showed me, like, uh, mandatory and I immediately was like, uh, that's that is the one. Like Did didn't y'all start making that last holy smoke? I feel like I heard y'all making something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. It was. Yeah, no. It was no in the bedroom? No, no, no. You heard me and him making still holy in the bedroom. No, but but he, but mandatory yeah, was in he, progress. He, he had it, whole, but I'm saying yeah. I didn't do anything on mandatory. He did man, he had mandatory already. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. you heard you heard us working on still holy. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. The eight oh eight, the eight oh eights, uh some of those came from John, like the idea of how the like, you know, John be doing, John holy be doing smoke. stuff like still that. Still holy, still holy, still holy. Still holy. Still holy. Still holy. around. Hey, low key, uh, low key, like still holy. I it was multiple people coming up to us afterwards. Like we thought y'all was gonna do it five more times. Yeah, I know. So yeah, we did it twice. We yeah, did it we twice, did, and yeah, they. Yeah. Uh, That's what I told them. Pull up, pull, pull, pull up, and Kanye and do neighbors in Paris eight times back to back to back to back. Yep. <laughs> neighbors in Paris. <laughs> we saw the that's, how, that's how many good, times did man. we see seven? Seven. We saw. I think them in France they times. did it like fifteen times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So individually, what like what we got going on, man? It's been a crazy year. Like, don't even ask me, bro. I'll get well, frustrated. It's crazy because this was a buy year for Indie Tribe. It was. Technically, Wait, what you mean? Like B, no, BYE, it was like like a week off. It was How, bro? It was, it was a festival. It was a project. I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. But like, like we we pulled the Indy Five Hundred together very quickly uh, for the festival. But the entire focus for all of us this year was solo stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. That's facts. I mean, and we, we talked about this. Like, we're not dropping yeah. an Indie Tribe album this year, although we, we essentially did. No, you know, just... Well, Sp- on Spotify, it calls it an album. No, that's definitely... I, I think that the fans also... They like, get it. They, they know they it's not it. an it's, album. It's not low blow. Yeah, they know, they know it's not an album. They yeah. And they love it for what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, they proved that at the show. But wait, the funny thing is, on Pulp Fiction, Dill says, low, 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 blow. And... Because that drum was supposed to be on low blow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was not because, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of, bunch of throwaways. What were you saying, though? What was the question? <sighs> no, I I, no, no. You keep calling it a bunch of throwaways, but Pulp Fiction was never a throwaway to me. It no, just no, no, did, no. It yeah, did, it was it never It didn't fit. Whoa, whoa, keep is crazy. It didn't, it didn't fit low blow, but I've always loved so, Pulp Fiction. So, all right, all right, for the fans. We, I love Pulp Fiction. Me too. Tori was, a part, of, Tor, Tori was a part of Indie Tribe midway through Low Blow, but we wanted to finish Low Blow as this pre-Tori Indie Tribe version, right? Originally, we were talking about dropping a whole nother version of the album very quickly after Holy Smoke last year under a different name that I'm not going to say because we still might use it. And that's what I'll say that project. <laughs> I love then, that name. And, I love that name. And, 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 and that's what love that you name. know. Pulp Fiction. That's what uh, Mandatory w- was made for, um, as, as well as some other ones that are still floating out there. But um, red it, flags it, too. Yeah, and red flags. So that's what those kind of became. A bunch of throwaways. No, it's not. It's, it's not. supposed it's, to be. It was supposed to be on the project that extended. It's that just we didn't Mobley's have the about. to do it. We He's in the middle of explaining. Right. And five hundred is the saying. extended uh, version of Low Blow, but it's not. It's just Indy five hundred. Yeah, it's the deluxe, but it's not the deluxe. It, it's yeah, yeah. It's like all the songs that didn't make it. No, that no, we they were for anyway, another we're saving it for another project. One. Bodega two. Don't know when this episode is dropping, but we can only pray it's out. <laughs> we can we can only pray it's out, bro. Saints, Saints, <laughs> Saints join me in praying that, bro. If it's not out, that's so done. funny, bro. Like if people and they're like, it's not. If it don't drop, <laughs> if it yo, if it doesn't drop, not my fault, Mike. All right, for the rest of the for the rest of the year, because I know we got T minus two minutes. Who? Uh, what? what I else? think it was five minutes. I think it was five oh, minutes. Real? Yeah, okay. we don't have a two minute warning. Okay. On uh, creative what you, control. What you got? What you got, John? Who else? What legends are you? collaborating with and uh yeah no no nobody i mean nobody nobody John has a song with sabrina carpenter no 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 no. i had a fight with sabrina carpenter that's different slated for march 2025 you're going down sabrina you don't stand a chance um <laughs> what what <laughs> y'all trying to get through that without <laughs> laughing that is crazy <laughs> i'm gonna hurt you you know what i'm saying um no yeah you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get some songs uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get some songs up. Uh, people don't people don't um uh, want to work with me though, so I don't know. John's really rich. Yo, we're not we we we. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie though. Very just John, what a, you diamond, said. a diamond certified producer gave John Keith a lot of money, and so, he's utilizing well, his well, connections it, it, for no. music. For, well, first, first, of all, first of all, first of all, we're gonna stop saying uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop. Well. <laughs> We're gonna stop with the yo. He gave John a lot of money. Well, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna stop it because. Well, are we stopping? Put it here, buddy. Hey, Dill's yearly salary oh, is. Yeah. Oh, whoa, right, 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 hey, 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 oh, we don't want to do that anymore. Oh, we don't like this game no more. We don't that. like this game no more. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're not playing this game no more. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie. What you said a minute ago really made it sound like you got nothing going on, which is crazy. He I, he teed you up. He was like, "Yo, what do you have going on?" Oh man, I, I got nothing going on. Nobody's working with me. Uh, I'm trying to get some stuff off, and they don't want to. They don't want to work with me. I don't want you. Might call Jay Prince Jr. Might call Jay Prince. So we can rectify this. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hey. Oh dang, my head did the thing again. No, I'm saying. No, no. I do this. We got five minutes. We got four minutes. That's all. We got three minutes. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Give give him the mic. Give him the mic. Give the mic. Team me up one more time. Team me up one more time. My Dylan, what you got going on? Man, I got so much going on that my wife said I got to push some of it back till next year, bro. I believe it. Nah, so I actually know you have. I have. I, I, that's that's literally, have, that's that. You, am you I lying? That's literally, literally true. 
I got so much going Dude on. My has, wife said, hey, yo, nah, some of that got to come out next year. You understand? Dude has three things going on. Can't tell you any of them, but they're going to be dope. You understand? Let me tell well, you. Well, no, you announced one of them at Holy Smoke, so you can announce it here. It's, no? it's, 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 oh, I was about to fix it, but wait, what happened? You were supposed to be doing this with me. What? The hat. You oh, fixed it. Oh, 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 oh. My bad, my bad. Uh, we live, we live, we live. You we know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I think, it, this, is this, uh, uh, this is, uh, when is this, uh, November? Uh, this comes out in November? Uh, uh, oh. Never mind. All right. Well, you know what Yo, I'm saying. Next week is actually crazy. <laughs> next week is kind of crazy. I gotta redo what I was gonna say. So, uh, you know what I'm saying. Um, oh yeah, I got some projects coming out. Nah, you announced one. That whole deal has a collab project with. You, know, you announced it already. So you're not. It's not hidden. You announced it already. You know what I'm saying, bro. You're just gonna have to find out. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know what I mean? It could. All right. I'll put it like this. It's one of these. It's one of these. Pharrell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kanye West, uh, Kato on the track, Chance the Rapper, uh, or Bryson Gray, or Bryson Gray. Gray. Or Bryson Gray. Yeah. It's one of those. One of those is coming out. Um, I He's got, here in Murfreesboro. You know what I'm saying? I got, a, I got uh, like Bryson Gray in Murfreesboro. Uh, what was the other one? I lost my train of thought. Okay, that's one. I oh, want to oh, have oh, peace. Oh yeah, in oh, my yeah. Land. oh yeah. Also, I got, I got. You know what I'm saying? I either have. I either have a, a chopped and screwed version of the album coming out or a deluxe version of the album or a reimagined version of the album or a kids bot version of the album coming out. One of those is coming I, out. I have I have a I have a tee up question for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh other than that, you know. No, nah, I'm not gonna say that one. But then okay. but then and then here's the All thing, right. and then here's the thing. In the spring, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we up. You know what I mean? Take that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, 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 fall next year. You know what I'm saying? We got a little. You know, we up. You know what I'm saying? We up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what the rest of y'all folks got going? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what's next? All what's right. You, uh, you what, what you got, I mean, Tori? I got a A O T Y. I got a little Aoti. Yeah, I got a little Aoti. Yeah, I like that. Little whoopty doo. Little whoopty doo. Little scoopty scoop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Good. Look. So I got a I got an album coming out. Aoti. Hopefully. Um. Lord willing. God willing. Because only He decide if I wake up tomorrow. Talk. If I don't, please drop it for me. Talk. We already got to wrap gotcha. it up. So. All right. So yeah, I got an album coming. Uh, I ain't gonna say the name yet. I'm hoping to get it out late September, early October. Um, this it'd is be my, nice if we could hear it first. Oh, we did. My bad, Mowgli. My bad, Dang. Ice. My bad, Ice. Like, that's been fun. That happened live on camp. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. See you guys. All right, listen. <laughs> spin, 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 spin. Listen, man. you're doing the thing. You're doing the thing. The you're thing. about to miss control room. You're doing the thing. This is the thing. You're doing the thing. This is the thing. Mogi's notorious. You have a point. notorious for removing himself from tribe moments, and it's like, what the heck? You guys did that without me. You left. You guys did control room without me. All right, here we go. This is why I haven't heard Tori's album. Mogi, no, Mogi, tell them about your body wash stuff, please. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up. Oh yeah, I'm I'm stoked. I'm I'm making metal music. It's great. I'm streaming a lot. Let's get it. It's great. Is it is it is it like a make metal music great again type joint? Yeah, yeah. Or just make metal great again? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's MAGA. That's that like bro, that like obviously selling whatever <laughs> great again. It's, it's not it's not a great <laughs> analogy with the, the types of letters and how the English language is formatted. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that's played out, but I <clears throat> you would get a bag. You would get a bag. Make <clears throat> metal great again. Are you kidding me? What are we talking about? I'm excited about? for your music because your performance was actually amazing. You would get a bag. Thanks, Genuinely. I'm excited. He, he would get it back. Are you gonna make him? Because if not, you are now in the control room. All right, control room. Here we go. Rapid fire questions. First thing that comes to your mind. We're gonna go uh, grapes. We're, we're gonna go like in order. You know, Michael. Sorry. All right. Uh, oh, I, I love you getting this one. What's your favorite conspiracy theory, even if you don't believe it? Uh, Uh, my favorite conspiracy theory is that 9-11 was planned by the U.S. government. See, that's probably true. Yeah. Okay, all what right. Happened to tri- Tower 7. This video never going to make it up. All right, what's the funniest prank you've ever pulled on? This is you, Tori. What's the funniest prank you've ever pulled on someone or had pulled on you? Uh, 
can't tell it in slow motion. You gotta say it fast. Uh, somebody, one of my friends was was uh, they had an interview that day, and uh, I ain't take them. <laughs> ah, that's you not a break. His life. That's just called being a bad friend. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my that's crazy. god, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, it, was, it was funny. <laughs> it was, uh, all right, it was all right, funny all right, all right. Um, I'm not. I feel like you might have had this on yours. The one I'm about to ask you. If you have, tell me that you have. All right. Okay. All right. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? It doesn't matter. They're all getting hands. <laughs> Give me all of them, especially. All don't right. let Dustin be there. It's over. Okay. All right. All right. That's it. All, all right. right. Uh, Mowgli, favorite no big deal lyric. Come on, bro. Come on. Um. Bro. Um. Um. Damn it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, you're the chosen uh, one. Um, just uh, 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 blue chat, blue chat, blue chat. We so uh, verified. An unreleased song from 2016 is crazy. That's <laughs> nuts. All right, I need. Come on, I need you on the mic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is for you. All right, what is your specific problem? With, step right here. Step right here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down right here. Uh, uh, no, they don't get to know. Uh, all right, what? Oh, it is an audio format. I've just brought in a 5'8 um, chocolate male with um, an orange do-rag, tan hoodie. And a dangerous disposition. A dangerous disposition. He looks similar to me. Okay. He's not wearing socks. Uh, uh, and he, oh, and he's... Oh, he, is he not wearing... Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, you, that's your skin? I'm just selling oh me those. My clearly, my, my skin is navy blue. Oh. <laughs> my skin is navy blue. <laughs> <laughs> I got no circulation to my feet. <laughs> what, am I, what am I walking Wait. on? Wait. That's nuts. Outside. That's nuts. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right, no, all right, now, now, now. What's your specific problem with John Keith? I'm gonna be honest. We'd be here way too long if I told the truth. So um, I love my brother. <laughs> this is the only person that I like. This is the only one. Oh my gosh! All right, this has been Creative Control with uh, Indie Tribe. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all next time, man. Dead nigga.